for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Here you guys thought you were going to see the same intro, huh? Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Cheese as always. Got a defense for you guys today. I haven't put out a defensive play in a while, mostly because I've been using the same defensive plays uh, over and over and over and having success. Uh, but I decide I'm going to find a new one, and I'm still in the same Dolphins playbook. If you guys don't know, I put out a Dolphins slash Giants ebook. Link in the description below. They're pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, but I've, I've pretty much just used that all year, and it's probably the only defense I'm going to use all year. The formation itself is the 3-3-5 odd. I put out plays from all these other uh, formations, all the nickel formations, 2-4-5, the 3-3-5 three, three, wide, and the double A gap here. I also have put out a play in the past, the Cover 3 Sky Show 4. We'll have links in the description for all that. But today I'm going to add to that scheme with the Overload 3 Sky Press. On the offensive side, I would like to go random. Uh, I guess I will. I guess I'll go random, but I want to pick something. Uh, you know, we'll go, we'll go with the bunch offset. This is basically meta, so we'll go with that. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, AOEAH.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time all you have to do is use that link in the description top line use discount code money to get three percent off what's already the cheapest coins on the market now the setup for this is super easy all i'm going to do is pinch the entire defense that's the rb r1 then down on the left stick that's the first step the next step is y triangle then i'm going to base the line show blitz base the line now the purpose of that i messed it up because this safety is supposed to come down too and i might have actually did it one too many times because that other cornerback is supposed to drop back a little bit there that's going to be the look where the safeties and the cornerbacks are both at depths where they shouldn't get burned by any streaks or pass plays, but also will be effective in shorter routes. They're closer to the line, so they'll be a little bit more uh, aggressive. And they'll, you know, like I said, it's, it, this to me is one of the better depths. When you base line, show blitz and base line. The last step, well, the second last step is going to be to guess pass. But then the last step is going to be to blitz your user, which is this three rack here, and bring him right down into uh, this gap. That's all you really have to do. This should do a number of things. Number one, the number one run, run play you're going to see in gun formation is going to be the inside zone. This should stuff that because you can see all the inside zone lanes are going to be stuffed. If you try to take it outside, this cornerback here take care of that. So that'll do a good job against run defense. And then you're also going to see the type of pressure that this gets. Whether it's a four-man, whether it's a, a blocking running back or not, we're still going to get pressure here. It's just going to come from different areas. So let's go and let's, like I said, I'm going to stay down in this box just for a Woo! second back out. You can see on the very first play, Jalen Hurts immediately recognizes that there's an un. Uh, an un block blitzer coming in we'll go to the replay here the point of this is to bring all these linemen in as tight as possible it doesn't matter whether the running back's blocking or not i think on this play he went out in a pattern you're going to see uh the pressure is typically going to come from this guy if that happens you can see right here this this uh this tackle here he gets in a position where he already knows like what am i doing here am i blocking this this defensive end am i blocking this cornerback it looks like for a second he's going to turn to the cornerback if he would have did that, this guy would have got off free. That's why I'm saying this pressure comes from multiple areas. The defensive end in front of him, or as an outside linebacker, I'm not really sure, but he would have got off free. So that's one of the things you're going to see a lot in this particular series of plays. But you can see, we're going to get that free cornerback pretty much every time. Just put your fastest cornerback, I forgot to mention that, put your fastest cornerback at this spot because that's going to make a big difference. Maybe even your biggest hitter, your biggest playmaker, all that stuff's going to be helpful having him at this cornerback spot. So we're going to do that a few more times, but hopefully, um, you know, we, we'll just... Uh, get all the looks that we want. We want to get some run looks. We want to get some looks where the um, the running back is blocking. Uh, but, you know, really easy setup. I'll go ahead and I'll do this one time. Hopefully, we'll get that, blo that blocking running back. And then we did. Oh, I don't know what that was, but that looked... I think both guys get in. I don't know if that was a, uh, a screen play or something. That was weird. So here we get that second look. I was just talking about how sometimes you're going to see um, the cornerback get in. Other times you're going to see this look where this defensive end gets in or this outside linebacker. I'm not really sure once again. But Lane Johnson looks like he tries to pass him off to the running back. And then he goes out on the cornerback, which you can see right here. He does get that cornerback. Or no, he doesn't even get the cornerback. The cornerback runs right past him anyway. So both of these guys come right past. I don't know if that's why the running back, maybe he went to a check and release. He didn't block any anybody and you can see we just have a screaming a gap and a really good outside cornerback pressure all in the same play but i really have to user this gap and then drop back and be the middle of the field right here i gotta i gotta basically stay here long enough that this guard pulls and then just walk away and try to take away anything over the middle as you can see we get a a drag which is why uh jalen i guess felt more comfortable just throwing it into a crowd 
There are some adjustments you can make for better coverage. Number one, it gets a bunch uh, set like this. You probably want to move this deep zone over to the point where he's uh, over top of the bunch coverage. Basically, that'll keep them from getting any one-play touchdowns because there are a lot of one-play touchdowns you can create from bunch coverages. But if you move the safety over, it should be no issue. If you want a hard flat, it just adds to the adjustments, but you'll take away those short throws, which are gonna be important because obviously the pressure's coming in so quick. So you might see more short throws than anything. But we're gonna do that one more time. Now we're just gonna go against random plays in general, the entire format, the entire book. We're just gonna go random gun. I mean, this is a hard defense to run from the gun. As you can see, there's just no, you know, this is, this is you're running right, you're typically running right into the issue whether it's the cornerback or the or the all the you know the, the stuffed defensive box as you can see right there we try to shoot the cap but i wasn't paying attention but it didn't matter because he comes through and cleans up my mess because this play is just good like that you always want to run it to the opposite side of the running back though that's the thing you always want to make sure that the that the the blitzing cornerback and i don't even know who that guy is but you want to make sure he's coming in from the side opposite the running back because that will help with the run plays and it'll help with the pass plays. Even if he's blocking, a lot of times the cornerback will get around anyway. Uh, now this is a unique play here. I can basically just take this guy. I don't have to really do anything. Um, I can just take this guy in here because you can see the, the zone assignments are a little bit different. So this is actually gonna be better for me if I have a fast linebacker, which I'm not really sure I do. But uh, this is pretty much the exact same look. Like I said, just pinch this defense. That's the most important part. If you don't mess with all the coverage adjustments in the back, that's not the end of the world. But pinching the defense is the more important part you can see the cornerback comes right around i didn't do a very good job covering the middle though i did chase the running back and i gave that up cover threes are improved even though i made a video saying that they're not much improved they are improved the cover three defenses are definitely better post patch um they're just you know uh you know like Woo! anything else you can see right there like i said we finally get that look where i get that guy off the other side for some reason you can get sacks it looks like this where you get a play action and if you get a play action a lot of times i'm on the wrong guy uh, a lot of times when you get a play action for whatever reason they're expecting the running back to come right off of that block and get this guy but if you guess pass a lot of times he just comes running straight in and gets an instant sack so i had to back out and choose a look with that play action just to show you guys what happens but we're gonna go we're gonna run it like this one time and we're going to end this video. Like I said, if that if that guy makes a mistake to play action, Woo! you get that look every single time. Every single time that quarterback does a play action, you can get a sack right off the edge. It's a really glitchy blitz. We've seen we've shown pressure from three different areas. We've shown it from the cornerback, the linebacker, and now we're going to show it again from this defensive end. So like I said, I don't know what they They just basically block inside. The cornerback came in free too on that play. So there's definitely a certain offense you do not want to run against this. As you can see on this play, the cornerback comes in free. I mean, everybody came in free. Like we have, it's, <laughs> I got suction in a little bit, but for the most part, this is what? How many blockers we have here? We have a six on five and two guys coming free. So only three guys are getting blocked, including myself. I should have pulled off, but you can see how easy of a blitz this is. So we're going to switch formations because we weren't really getting the run plays that we wanted. We're going to go with a popular inside zone out of the gun trips to you offset because we want to get some run plays to show how this stops run plays anyway. So let's go and let's pick that. So this is one of the reasons that you're definitely going to want your, your, um, your safeties closer to the line because they're going to be important when it comes to run defense. The only thing I'm not going to do here, the setup's the exact same, the only thing I'm not going to do is guess pass, obviously. So here you can see we have um, not too much lanes in the center. Though. There we got washed a little bit. We could fix that just by simply uh, changing the uh, the lane in which I'm rushing. I don't have to rush that lane for the blitz to get in. It's just the one that I prefer. And then you can see it basically just changes. Uh, I don't get washed out of the play because the previous play, I'm getting washed out of the play because I'm still kind of treating this like, um, like uh, I'm gonna drop back into coverage. Where here, if I start off over here, they'll just they'll just basically let me in to shoot the gap, as you can see right there. Um, I just came in a little bit late, so we'll actually shoot the gap once or twice, just to show you guys that there is a lane in which you can shoot the gap. You just have to basically start right over here. So this is not ideal because you're coming across the formation, but you have the other blitzers coming in. You can see right there. I mean, it's just you have to take it wide. So a very good run defense against inside zones. You just have to change it up just a little bit and just bring this guy out over here, which seems counterintuitive uh, considering that you want to be in that lane. But you can see it just basically, you know, there's no real holes to run here. You can see the running back is just basically going laterally. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more defensive plays, more blitzes, more pass defenses, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Make sure out. 
more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.